Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fillable PDF. And here's the situation. I have a couple PDFs up here. And if I open this up, let's say I'm gonna right click on this, open it up in Acrobat Reader. And this is the same thing that you're gonna find in both Mac and PC. It's called a Adobe Reader. Some of you might remember it as being called Acrobat Reader. But the problem with this, this form here is like this is a pedigree chart for genealogists I want to enter data here and it doesn't really let me do it like I just put my cursor in there but I'm typing and nothing's happening and what I want to happen is when I or someone else opens up this PDF I can actually start to type in text and then I can hit tab move to the next field here then move to this field then go down to these little lines and here is how you create something like that you're gonna need a special piece of software it's called Adobe Acrobat Pro DC uh, it may also be called Adobe Acrobat and basically you have to uh, nowadays you have to get a subscription to it I think the cost is maybe 20 or 25 dollars per month or something like that for my business it's pretty useful but if you're only doing it for a one-off project you may either uh, want to you know maybe borrow someone else's computer to do it or uh, just get a one month subscription to do it and here's how it works so I'm gonna open up the same form again sorry the same PDF Instead of doing Adobe Reader, I'm going to choose Adobe Acrobat. And by the way, this is the same in a PC or Mac. So when you first open it up in Acrobat, it will look something like this. There's a grid of, there's a grid of um, lines around the form. And when I first started playing around with this, I thought, oh, I'm going to click Edit PDF and I can change it. Edit PDF actually lets you change the text itself. I want to create a, a, a text field in all these little bubbles and over here, these lines so people can fill in information. To do that, go to prepare form. You'll get a message like this and just basically make sure it's the right form you're working on and click start. Okay, you may notice that there's a new icon bar above here called prepare form. It's kind of purple looking. Um, basically what we want to do is select the type of thing we're going to add and they have all kinds of options. They have radio buttons, uh, drop down menus, drop down lists, uh, OK buttons. I haven't really done or like for printing or something like that. I haven't used these sophisticated ones. All I want to do is make a fillable PDF and to do that you you do add a text field. So click that and then your mouse will suddenly become this moving rectangle and you basically click where you want to place it and then you can click to place another one and then another one. And the size is not quite right at this point, but we'll deal with that later on. So I can kind of go through and keep on doing that. And then what I want to do when I want to edit these forms, I go back up to the toolbar here and click this one. It looks like a little arrow, that's like the pointer. And then you can select objects to edit them. So like this first one, compiled by, I might want to Lengthen that out in case the person's name is a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. For this one, the chart number, I can see that the actual the field is below the line. So I'm going to raise that up just by basically grabbing those dots at the corner and then you know dragging them out or dragging them up or whatever. Um, this is a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to select that first. Whoops. Yeah, now, now everything's getting tough because they're, everything's overlapping. But you get the basic idea. Um, I can go through and I can start to edit these so they fit better. And um, once this is done, actually, let me just do let me just do a quick save, then we can take a look at it. This one's too tall. Okay. All right, that's looking a little bit better. So let's let's hit uh, cl close. And now it's kind of in a preview state. And these blue boxes here, that's actually where the lines are. So I can just kind of test them there. And I, what I'm doing now is a hitting tab to move from one to the other. So you can see I'm moving through there. So let's save that. Um, I'm gonna save it in the same place. And I'm gonna call that test fillable. All right, so I'm gonna close out of that. And let's take a look at it. Here it is. Right click, I'm gonna open it again in Acrobat Reader. That's just the simple app that everyone has on their computer. 
and you can see the, the fields are, are highlighted again. And I can start doing things like typing my name, tabbing, chart number 342, father, Jim Smith, born where, um, New York, born uh, when. So you can get the idea. I can basically start to create a form to so people can fill it in. There's a problem though, and that problem is, look at all of these fields here. I mean, this is gonna take me a long time to manually draw that out. And actually the first time I did this, I, I did that. It took me like three or four hours to do, do a form like this. There's another way to do it. I'm gonna show that to you quickly because I know you have don't have lots of time. So let's take a different form. This is called a large print family group sheet test, open with Adobe Acrobat. Uh, we come to this screen again. Remember, we're gonna do prepare form. Now, this is important. Form field auto detection is off. I'm gonna change that and I'll show you why. Automatic, I'm gonna check automatically detect form fields. This is in the uh, forms area of the preferences or the settings and hit okay. Windows might look a little bit different uh, in terms of where that's found, but on, it should be on this screen and accessible from there. So I hit that to on and now I'm gonna hit start and see what just happened. Adobe Acrobat automatically entered the fields in the boxes where it thinks that people will be typing. This is good. This is a two-page form. There's tons of fields. So right away, this saved me a lot of work. However, it's not perfect. And I'll show you what I mean. So one, one issue is, actually, let's zoom in a little bit again. One issue is, is that... Um, First of all, it, it's great that it filled in the boxes exactly and it, assi it assigned them a name, but the names aren't quite perfect because like for instance, this field, it, it calls it birth. The name of, whoops, the name of the field is act should actually be birth date. Okay, this one should be marriage date. So just basically select it, go over to the right there, click on it once or twice. And you can go through and change those. And you know you don't have to change the names of them, but it makes things a lot easier, especially if you have lots of fields around here. Now, the other thing is it didn't, it didn't automatically assign all of the available fields. So for instance, location, additional info, those should, be, those should also have these uh, blue uh, text fields on them, but it doesn't. So I have to manually do that. And if you remember, go to the top, choose the add a text field icon, and then you have to start going through and doing that. So one thing you can do is you can just click to place it. But the other thing you do is you can hold down your mouse button, your left mouse button, and then kind of draw it. So I'm going to start to do that. The other way is I could just place the box and then just adjust, adjust it later on. So I'm going to just do that a couple times. And there's one other thing, important thing I want to show you with this. I'm not going to do everything, just like do four, add four new boxes. Okay, so um, let's preview that and see what happens. So you can see that I that I've already have all these fields here. I can type text into them, but I'm going to show you something important with the tab feature. So if you hit the tab button, that advances to the next field, so you can start typing. So I'm right now I'm in the compiled by date, then tab to chart number tab to date. Now at this point, I want it to go from birth date to birth location to additional info, then to marriage date, marriage location, marriage additional info. But if I hit tab, check that out. It's not going to these over here. And you may be thinking, why isn't that? Why isn't that happening? And the reason is, is because when Adobe, when you create uh, text fields for a form, it arranges them kind of uh, not quite the way that you may think they should be arranged. So um, here, here's the list, the fields. So this shows the order the fields are coming in. So it goes compiled by date, chart number, birth date, and then marriage date. But actually what I want is text eight and text nine between birth date and marriage date, and then text 10 and text 11 after marriage date. So what I have to do is I actually have to go to the text, the, the, the new fields I just created, it'll stick them at the bottom of the page. Yeah, here they are, text eight. So let's call that birth location. Call text nine is going to be birth info. 
Text 10 is going to be marriage date. Text 11 is going to be marriage info. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these up. You can just basically grab it. I'm going to select a whole bunch of them at once and then just uh, drag them up to the top. And you have to be careful because a lot of the names are very similar. You can see like birth one, birth two, birth three. So here they are. So I just stuck those uh, birth date, birth location, birth info, uh, marriage date, marriage info. Those are before marriage date. So I'm going to move those down. I can just drag it down. And then marriage info and drag that down as well. Okay, let's preview it now. So I'm going to start up here, tabbing through. See it? All right, that's working better. So let's uh, save save this, save as PDF. Do Control Save with a uh, PC or Command Save with a Mac, and do it up. I'm going to call it Test Fillable. All right, now let's take a look. Actually, let's close it out and let's open it up in Acrobat Reader and see what happens. Okay, compiled by date. Um, Ian Lamont, oops, May 9th, 2020. It's typo there. Okay, tab to go to the next one, chart number one, and then start the dates. Okay. So I'd start typing in the date. So let's say that this is um, October 2, 1938, location, um, New York City. Uh, additional info, uh, maybe you could say adopted. And then go down to marriage, you could say um, June 12th, uh, 1962. And then kind of keep on going through and tabbing and filling in the text. And then what you have is you have a, it's a PDF that's easy to print out. Uh, maybe you can share it with other people. They can update it. They can add text. And then, you know, the Adobe Acrobat, other tools you can do are adding like signatures and things like that or more complicated things. Um, it's out of scope of this particular video. But uh, if you go to the Adobe help section, you can surely find some more resources. And maybe I'll do another video later on on how to do the more advanced stuff. Uh, again, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. For more information, check out the books available at in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.